National Citizen Service, NCS for short, is a four-week um, government-funded programme for 15 to 17-year-olds leaving school or in their first year at college. Um, the main idea of the four-week programme is to get these guys involved with their communities, um, is to build them up, build their confidence, um, and to get them really enjoying their summer period and helping them kind of move on after education and such into the working world. Uh, as a leader, it's a great four weeks. Um, you'll enjoy every minute of it. It is intense um, and you will be camping at times as well. Um, but to start off with, you'll be on a residential in either Croyd, uh, the Gower or Falmouth. So your first week is your adventure week. She'll be doing all of the activities with young people to help support them. She'll be co-steering, surfing, total wipeout, uh, pony trekking, lots of different things. During that week, it's all about getting your group to sort of bond, get them together. They're not really going to know each other. So you've got to throw them into activities, get them team building. And then by the end of that week, on the Friday, they should be leaving. They should be on the coach, like best friends, like they've known each other forever. You've got the weekend at home then. And then on the Monday, you'll start the home residential, which is at Norman Court in West Tithily. This is a really good week for helping them to learn independent skills. So they'll be doing cooking, carpentry, media, all sorts of things dependent on the group that you have. For example, they might learn to cook in the morning and then in the afternoon they'll be going out and feeding the homeless. Or they will be doing media workshops where they go out um, and they learn in the morning different kind of media skills and then go out uh, and do interviews with the public um, on kind of debatable issues at the time. Sometimes this can be the most challenging week because the children start to get a little bit bored with sitting around and so it's your, this is the week where you really need to come in, step up and give them loads of encouragement and motivate them to want to finish the task. So they get an allocated amount of money per day, per person. Um, as a team they would then have to go out and buy their breakfast, their lunch and their dinner. They also pay for you, so that's another great bonus. You need to make sure that they, they do it right um, and as a leader you're just there to encourage them with this and help them manage it. Um, with cooking, uh, with cleaning, with shopping, all that kind of thing is to help them learn how to live independently. In your third week, you'll be staying at home and you'll be coming in day by day. This is their social action planning week, so they'll find a charity or a community project which they feel really passionately about, which they'll agree on as a group, and then they will have to come up with ideas to fundraise for that charity or community project. The whole point of Social Action Project is not just to hand over money, they have to come up with an idea, fundraise and then implement their idea. We've had people sleep rough for a night, raising money that way. You as a leader will join them uh, and then they will make shoe, but with the money they raised they made shoeboxes um, full of survival gear for homeless people. Um, other more crazy ones have sat in a, a bath of beans for six hours raising money. Um, then to go in and help build a sensory garden um, for a local charity. Uh, this really is a great week for you as a leader. Um, it's good to kind of, you can see how your group have progressed over the three weeks. Um, and it's nice at the end of this week, um, just to have everything planned and ready to go for your fourth week. The fourth week itself is just simply getting the projects done. Um, so as a leader, it will be a little bit hard at times because um, you need to get all of your group involved in everything you do. Uh, so this week you'll be going out and you'll be doing the fundraising, you'll be doing the sleeping rough or whatever kind of fundraising activity it is, and you'll also be doing the project. So what are the best bits about NCS? Essentially, it's a paid-for holiday. This is one of the best jobs you will do and one of the best summers you will have. All the activities we do are just as much fun for you as they are for the young people. You'll have your your fellow leader with you at all times and you'll build a good relationship with them and you'll just have all these fantastic experiences over those four weeks. And it's going to look good on your CV as well. So there's so many brilliant aspects to NCS that you don't really think about when you initially sign up to be a leader. When you reach the end of your four-week programme, there's nothing more rewarding than seeing how your young people have changed, how they've grown as people and how they've developed new skills themselves. But what makes a good NCS leader is someone that's confident, Firstly, you need to have common sense. Can't be afraid to get your hair wet. Motivational. Willing to cooperate with people. Keen to work with lots of different people. A good listener. A good speaker. 
be confident. You need to be able to speak in front of a lot of people. Can't take half an hour getting ready in the morning. Even when you're having a bad day, you need to step up and help those young people get right through. You have to be able to push yourself in order to push your young people. You need to be willing to make friends with a wetsuit. You need to have patience. Willing to have fun. You have to be determined. A lot of banter. Motivated. A lot of banter. More importantly, you need to have a lot of fun. You need to be able to take the banter as much as you give the banter. And you have to have a good time. Uh, banter. <laughs>